Okay, so today is June 16th. Porter just turned nine months old, and we are saying goodbye to the play gym. He just doesn't sit in it. <laughs> doesn't it doesn't hold his attention anymore. He's too big. And honestly, it's huge. It takes up a lot of space in the playroom. And so it's time for it to go back into storage till the next baby. But I just wanted to document his last time in the play gym. He's not even playing in it. So that just tells you it's time to go, huh? Yeah, say bye, play gym. Hi, Gray. Gray's doing his puzzles all morning. He can do lots of them all by himself now. My sister got Gray these two puzzles from the dollar store. Um, and they're 16 piece and they're ones where like on the back side of it, it doesn't have the picture. So you have to do it all like figuring it out. And he can do both of these by himself. I think that's pretty impressive. So yes, we are getting rid of the play gym today. I'm kind of not too sad about it just cause it's gonna free up a lot of space in the playroom. It came with like all these balls. <sighs> Here's all the balls. I've been like gathering them up. Of course, like they're so tiny that they get everywhere. There were tons in the toy box and all around the playroom. So I gathered all those up. I'm gonna put the play gym in the basement now. And today we have Porter's nine month doctor's appointment. So we're gonna see how big he is and we're gonna see, you know, how he's developing. And then also we're gonna get some shots, unfortunately. So I'll take you guys along for that for a little bit. And it's supposed to be another beautiful day. The weather's really cooled down. So it's just in the seventies now. And so it's been awesome. Awesome weather wise um, so we've been outside a lot not so much water toys just because it's not that warm um, but a lot of walks and sidewalk chalk and so we've just really been enjoying the summer so we are just hanging around and we'll go to the doctor's appointment later today hi you go clap 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 he started to clap yeah clap 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 did you do your fire truck puzzle all on your own? Good job. Good job, Gray. And this guy's just being a cutie. I put them in matching pajamas for the first time yesterday. I'll include a picture of that here. They were so cute. Yeah, say so Porter is now in 12 month clothes. <laughs> He's so big. Do you want to spell words? Gray is obsessed with his new splash pad. He asks to get in it all the time, even though it is 72 degrees outside and cold. He doesn't care. What's wrong, Gray? How about B, U, B, B, L, E? What does that spell? Bubble! <gasps> yeah, there are bubbles! How many bubbles are there on your splash pad? I told him, it's cold, you're not gonna wanna get in that. He didn't care. <laughs> One, two, three. Porter's not so crazy about the splash pad, but Gray loves it. I think it's because Porter can't stand, and so he gets all wet, and it's cold water, so he gets cold. On the other hand, I have all of our windows open. These down here, the ones in our bedroom, in the kitchen, in the dining room, Grayson's room, not Porter's because he's sleeping right now. I have all the windows open because it's beautiful out. We need like fresh air in our house. Um, it's really good to do that every once in a while. And so I have all the windows open and Felix is just sitting there crying at that. Let's see if I can get him on camera. He wants to come outside so bad. We used to let him come outside every now and then when he was younger um, and we had like a leash and everything, but then he started to eat the grass and then he would puke up the grass. So he's not allowed outside anymore, but he doesn't get that. Hi, Fief. Hi. He's like, please let me out. You can't come out, buddy. You're gonna eat the grass. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, we're just hanging out before Porter's 
doctor's appointment, I'm having him nap as long as he can because this doctor's appointment is kind of like in the middle of the day when he's usually napping. So hopefully he's not too cranky. It's always hard. I never know when to make doctor's appointments because I have to schedule them like months in advance and I don't know what his nap schedule is going to be like. So it's always like a crapshoot, but we're going to get it done and get it over with. I have my gloves. I've been um, weeding, well, trying to as much as Gray will let me because he likes all the attention. Back here in the back corner of our lot, we used to have like a ton of mulch because um, we redid all our mulch, our mulch back here and then our mulch up front. And um, so all the extra mulch, the old mulch, we just put it like in a back corner of our lot. Our back door neighbor, Jerry, took all that mulch this spring and used it like around his house. And so then it just left nothing. Well, that let all the weeds grow through. And so now we have tons of weeds. And obviously it looks really bad. So every chance I get, I'm pulling up weeds, but there's tons of them back there. And so it takes me forever. Plus I have kids that don't let me have five minutes to myself. So it's gonna take a while, but I hate pulling weeds. It's annoying. Are you still counting bubbles? Anthony mode. the grass looks so much better. Our grass has been growing like crazy this summer, more than previous summers. Is your grass growing crazy too? We, every spring we put fertilizer on our grass, so I'm not sure if that's it or just like it's been super warm. I don't know, I just don't remember it growing this fast. Like if he doesn't mow it like every other week, he has to mow it like twice over because it just gets so long. So just keeps us busy, I guess. Hey, big boy. Are we at the doctor? Yes, I was just here with Grace and that's fun. Love the snack. Huh. We can see how big you are. Yeah, just waiting. Only one poke today. Woohoo! You're a tall dude. Okay, so we are back from the doctor's appointment. I just filmed that little clip beforehand and it actually went really well. Porter is just here crawling on the floor. It's just finding he found a spoon and he likes to play with this. It's the lid to our candle. He thinks that's really fun. He'll take it and he'll throw it. I think Anthony was like playing with the settings on this camera because it seems like really yellow. Anyway, it went really well. Um, everything looks great. He is doing awesome. Um, she looked in his eyes and his ears and felt his tummy and everything and she said she didn't see anything bad. She asked if I had any questions. I really don't have any questions. The only problem with Porter is he's still not sleeping through the night and he's nine months now. But I think that's just on his own time so hopefully that improves. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so really quickly, I will go into more of this in his nine month old update video, but he is 64th percentile for weight. He is 84th percentile for height, so he's very tall, and he is 78th percentile for head. So he's got a huge head, he's very tall, and he's somewhat bigger on the weight comparison. Gray always had really small head circumference readings. He was always like 30, 40 percentile. Um, Porter is just big. He's a big baby, but he did great. He only had to get one shot, his last dose of hepatitis B, I think they said. Um, and so that's finally done. He was not happy when they gave him that shot, but he loved playing with the crinkle paper and he loved seeing his reflection in the mirror. And he actually was very chill. Like when she was listening to his heart and looking in his eyes and ears, he just sat there and just chilled. And usually he's like, no, a stranger's quarantine baby. And then also like nine months is when they start doing the stranger danger. He's at my feet right now. Hi. Oh, careful. Up, mom. Would you pick me up? He did really well. He was chill. There was another kid in the room next to us, and they were getting a blood draw, and they were screaming. I felt so bad for that kid. But 
um, it was great and so everything checked out awesome and so I made an appointment for September when he will be a whole year old and we'll have his 12 month appointment that just blows my mind that it's like his next appointment is he's gonna be a year old like this year just flew I, I can't even believe it's nine months right now but anyway it all went well um, the only complaint I have is he will not take a nap now he took a morning nap and seems to think that one nap is good enough and will not take a second nap so the only good thing about that is he will probably go down for bed pretty easily tonight but he's still waking up twice Porter. Last night he woke up at 2, 2.30 a.m. and then 4.30 a.m. and then he woke up at like 5 a.m. but then like went back to sleep on his own but then I was up just like I couldn't fall back asleep so I'm tired. I'm just ready for him to sleep through the night. Gray was sleeping through the night by now and oh it's just killing me but... I mean, he's eating every time I go in there. Like, I give him a bottle and he eats and then he goes back to bed. So it's not like he's not hungry, but he's talking. But I don't know. He's just a lot. <laughs> you missed your business, baby. Helping Anthony do his work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, just got to push some buttons here. <laughs> This is what he's typing. <laughs> M dash M M M K one M. Good job, Forrest. Oh, really putting some effort in there. He says, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> so Gray had his first scraped knee. I just put a band-aid on it. He's fine. Porter's playing out on the blanket. He refused to second nap, and so he keeps laying his head down like he's tired and he's grumpy. So, not bedtime yet, Porter. Where's your boo boo? Where's your boo boo? Wrong knee. <laughs> Where's your boo boo? Oh, right here with your band-aid? I went and got him a band-aid and that made him feel better. Oh, oh, okay, that's wet. Your shoes are getting all wet. Get out. Your bathing suit is on. You want me, you want me to take your shoes off? Okay. Okay. Hi, Porter. I've got both boys swinging on the swing set. We're at the little neighborhood park. We just walked here. And both boys are swinging. This is the easiest part is when they're both in swings. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's pretty nice. Hi, Porter. Porter's still hanging on even though he had no nap. Second nap, I guess. Gray still has his bathing suit on. I forgot to take it off. Oh well. We're a hot mess, but it's alright.